exciting day here. We have got our hands on the brand new S21 products from Samsung. As you can see in front of me is the S21 Ultra 5G, the S21 5G. I also have a couple pairs of Galaxy Buds Pro, which are new as well. I've actually got pretty much every single variant of the S21 Ultra and the uh, regular S21 and the S21 Plus. Let's kick it off with the Ultra. That's the one that I'm most excited for. That's the top of the line flagship of the bunch. The Ultra takes things to another level. It's the biggest display of the bunch. Coming in at 6.8 glorious inches. All right, here we go. So check it out. That is your first glance at the S21 Ultra. This is probably the color that I'm gonna go for, to be honest. I, You know me, when it comes to black, double black like they have going on here. Actually, they call it phantom black. But I like that they went with a sort of matte finish as well. It's gonna be a little bit more resistant to fingerprints. This glossy portion, so you can see the two different types of black. This kind of carries a, a similar reflectiveness to the frame of the device, metallic around the edge. What's new on this model is how they integrated the camera module. Unlike last year, they were able to kind of blend it into the frame here which I think is a more elegant approach. Everybody wants the top performing camera stuff, but maybe we want something that appears to look a little bit more slender from the side. And they were able to do that with this curved edge around here. Now there is a little sticker on there. Remove that. Wow, that is a comprehensive looking camera setup. Those are huge lenses. You can see the periscope style zoom lens down here on the bottom and then the other camera modules above there. On the side of the device, you'll see your volume rocker in this location as well as your power switch down below there, the screen protector. This is a large display. They brought the pen input to the S lineup. So it's no longer relegated just to the Note series. The uh, front facing camera here, this tiny little hole punch layout symmetrical in the center of the device. On the bottom of the device here, we have our USB-C connector for the fast charging, speakers over here as well. And then this device also does feature the shared wireless charging, so you can charge buds on the top of it if you choose to. There is a USB type C cable, so it looks like Samsung has joined the party here as far as uh, not putting the power brick in the box and that's resulting in a slimmer package for shipment. This does support fast wireless charging as well, so you may wanna go the wireless route if you're gonna pick up uh, a, another charger to go with it. SIM tool is also inside the package, and yeah, that pretty much completes the unboxing experience. Now let's go ahead and move over to the S21 5G. So this is the smallest of the bunch. So this one is coming in at 6.2 inches for the display, and you can see already we have a much more colorful look right out of the gate. But this is called Phantom Violet. And what's interesting to me here is the two-tone effect, which you haven't really seen very much of. That's kind of a nice look to it. Now the texture is kind of similar. This one maybe has a slightly grippier feel to it, but it's also a matte finish, a kind of semi-reflective finish, which changes its hue a little bit depending on what it happens to be reflecting. Three cameras along the top, and none of which are as large as on the Ultra variant. However, that design characteristic of minimizing the camera hump by bringing the frame of the device around the back edge, it exists here as well. You do have your power switch and volume buttons in the same location as they exist on the Ultra, even though this is obviously a much smaller form factor. There is a screen protector as well. Now, just like on the Ultra model, you have your camera unit, tiny little hole punch in the center of the frame there. Bottom of the device is where you'll find your USB type C connector and your speaker modules. I'm gonna place that one down right there. You get your SIM tool, you get your USB type C cable, and you're up and running. First gonna reach for the bigger version of this. That's right over here. So this is the S21 Plus, which actually sits between the S21 and the S21 Ultra, and that takes your screen size up to 6.7 inches. Now, the specifications, of course, are going to be a little bit different here. Since the Ultra is the flagship model, that's where you're gonna find the maximum spec with up to 16 gigs of RAM. Am I correct? Is it 16 gigs that we're dealing with these days? And 512 storage option, that exists with the Ultra. If you do step down to the S21 Plus, 
then you're looking at eight gigs of RAM and 256 storage. So the regular S21 and S21 Plus, same spec. It's still, for most people, plenty of RAM, but for those that want the powerhouse status, that want to go ultra, well, that's why it's called the Ultra. I also have the Phantom White, which really grabbed my attention because of how matte it comes off and almost like uh, sort of a, a pearl type of texture to it. I don't know what it is. For some reason, this one spoke to me. Still a two-tone setup with a kind of polished steel around the outside, the silver frame. Yeah, there's just something about this one that sort of speaks to me. Now, we do have another Ultra variant as well. This is gonna be your silver, and this one is probably the most interesting of all the colors available. This one is much more reflective even than the violet over here, so whatever happens to be in front of it is going to kind of reflect in the surface, and it color shifts and changes depending on the way the light hits it. So it can be anywhere from a teal to sort of a pinkish tone, and it really represents a large number of colors inside of the look there. This is getting wild, so this one is the black variant of the S21 Plus. This one is also a cool color, which is kind of like the black, but not quite. It actually comes off as like a really dark matte gray, and the frame changes too, which almost has like a sort of a bluish tone to it. So this one they're calling Phantom Gray, and that's available in the S21 and S21 Plus. Check this out. This is a silicone case, and that's gonna be for your Ultra model, as you can see right there. Now, in order to accommodate this pen on the side here, they actually had to extend the case on the front side. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and insert this right here. As you can see, that's how that works. Now, I don't know if this is going to be for everyone. Obviously, the device becomes a little bit wider, but as an exchange for that, you're now getting the opportunity to use a pen for your input. It just pops out of there like that. And of course, if you've ever seen an S Pen previously, you kind of know how this functions. Now, the S Pen is a little bit different than previous versions that we've seen with the Note series. There's no more clicky bit on the eraser portion or in the eraser location, but it kind of makes sense. This device is so big at 6.8 inches that uh, you really could enhance your productivity through the use of the pen. And the pen, of course, has a large number of features here, everything from note taking to smart selection, screen write, live messages, and so forth. So the next case is this wallet style case, and you can see it has the clear view on the front so you can actually catch your notifications and updates even when the wallet style case is closed. When you have a wallet style case, I think pen input becomes even more important the way you're holding it, and uh, that's just my guess. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the Ultra model into this case. Now the frame of the case is actually very similar. In fact, it might be identical. It's silicone on the outside, and it has this channel on the side over here for your pen. However, it just has this piece glued on, this hard plastic piece, which turns this into a wallet, as you can see right there. This will show you your time, battery life, the date, whatever notifications you have. And the other thing that happens on this one is it kind of has a cool cover for the camera portion, a little bit nicer maybe than the one on the plain silicone case. So anyway, that's the wallet case. I should also mention at this point, uh, of course, we're also going to be doing the later case for uh, everything within this series from the Ultra down to the regular S21. So go check the site. I believe you can order it. I think it's gone live right now. And I'll have more on that coming up very shortly. But if you want to be one of the first to receive uh, an Ultra Slim case, if that's more your style, then go check that out. I'll put the link in the description as well. All right, so since we're on an unboxing spree here, we might as well reach for the Buds Pro as well. This is silver, this is blue. I don't know if there's any phantom in the name. One, two, one. There's a few specifications on the back. Two-way speakers for rich sound, active noise cancellation, so that's built in five to 18 hours of playtime and IPX7 certification for durability. It's the exact same kind of hue and tone so you can have the perfect outfit here. Now I crack that open. Ooh, look at that. All shiny and shimmery. See a little LED light in the center there. And we have an interchangeable ear tip. So usually the medium is installed. That's a soft touch ear tip. Lets it sit a little further in the ear canal for improved performance. 
often you will have ear tips to choose from and that's exactly what you have inside the packaging here it looks like you have a small and a large to go with the medium that's already pre-installed plus a usb type c cable to charge that up if you don't want to use the reverse wireless charging which phone are you supposed to have to get this one i guess this can go with any one that you choose and Oh yeah, definitely the white one here. Once you see the buds themselves, so it's reflective silver and then the tips and the remainder are white. So this would match really well with the Phantom white model uh, variant. Okay, cool. I'm gonna reach for the Ultra model right now because that one is just calling my name. This is a big phone, but it actually maybe doesn't feel that big because of what they've done on the edges of the frame here. The part that you're gripping is actually this thin band and the remainder curves off fairly quickly. So this one obviously takes things to another level. We have the latest chip in here now. We have the Snapdragon 875. We have an adaptive refresh rate on the display. Well, first off, how about resolution? So you can see out of the box, it's in 2400 by 1080, that's FHD+. You can go ahead and toggle that up to 3200 by 1440, that's WQHD+. So for those, uh, people that really appreciate the extra pixels, that's a tremendous amount of resolution for a smartphone. You can start to appreciate those added pixels if you use your device like that. If you're more casual and whatnot, you may prefer the battery savings that come through lowering the resolution, which is probably why it's selected out of the box. Yeah, sharpest visuals, most battery use. But I do appreciate that increased resolution available only on the Ultra model. And you have another option here. You have the standard option, which toggles back the refresh rate to 60 Hertz. And that's gonna be if you're more interested in preserving battery life, or if you're already low on battery and you just wanna juice a couple extra minutes out, then you may go for the standard setting. I personally will never remove the adaptive setting. And so it looks like we can just straight away in the operating system here, run the high resolution along with the adaptive 120 Hertz. So that's kind of, a nice little touch. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the cameras here because the cameras are just pretty wild on this particular setup right here. So you can actually see just in the default photo app, I've got one, two, three, four different options to select. Now I have my trusty plant here. This is gonna be your standard focal range. That's number one. We have a 3X zoom, look at the detail. Now I just do the quick select of the 3X you can see I have options all the way up to 100X that become available to me on that tap. Of course, not all optical, not the whole way, but the other option here, 10X. Oh my goodness, that is tremendous. Wow. Look at the, look at the 10X optical. Get out of town. That is detail. I mean, and I can even, I can keep it going. It is, wow. And then let me just get the wide angle shot as well. Now it is a combination. I mean, we're sitting here on an S21 Ultra, which it's one of the best displays in the game, as you know, with the AMOLED and such. And then we're also using the camera. It's all tuned up, but still that is a premium. That's a flagship experience right there. Here comes 100. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it shows me a picture in picture to help me try to frame it. That is just, that is insane. <laughs> that, that, Mo, you never even looked at your camera like that. You never even looked at your camera like that. That level of zoom is, uh, well, it's kind of mind boggling, to be honest. So you have HD 30, FHD 30. You have FHD 60, FHD auto, UHD 30, UHD 60, and 8K 24. If you go with the Super Steady, you are trapped in FHD rather than UHD. Oh, baby, that's steady. I can tell you right now, it is tremendously steady. So I'm gonna turn Super Steady off and then test out the UHD 60. Yeah, UHD is gonna probably be the way to go for most people. Now it does have the crazy exotic 8K 24 FPS. And I am now recording 8K video. Wow, <laughs> this always gets me on a smartphone. This is in the 8K mode. I don't know if Kurt can throw this on the timeline, but 
It's in 8K mode, so it's focused on a plant, and then I lift up my hand, and it's smooth, and I drop it, and it's the plant, and it's my hand, and it's the plant. So it's not hunting around. That's kind of a nice improvement right there in the video mode, so I'm happy about that at first glance over here. Regular S21, S21 Plus also do 8K video recording. They do have a smaller battery. We have a, I can't believe I haven't mentioned it yet. You have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in the Ultra, so obviously I'm a fan of that. Now, as expected, as you move down in scale, you're gonna get a smaller battery. So it's 4,000 on the regular S21 and 4,800 on the S21 Plus. Keep in mind, you're powering a smaller display as well, so it's probably gonna consume less battery, but still, it's worth noting, the biggest battery comes on the Ultra model. 6.8 inches, and of course, we have this tiny little hole punch, so it barely obstructs anything. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, look how vibrant this OLED is. Look at that, okay? The benefit here of having this tiny little hole punch is that you're getting more bang for your buck, more, more screen for your form factor with less obstruction or distraction up along top. The hottest new Ooh, flagship loud. smartphone hack. This is the most tremendous camera section of a smartphone I've ever seen. Yeah, obviously the speaker is loud. It sounds great. It's uh, super easy to listen to. Will just surprised me because this video didn't have enough of the entire lineup. We also have the Galaxy Buds Pro in black, and I was wondering if it did exist. What if you buy the black phone? Of course, you gotta have the black model, so you might as well compare that too. These, are, these would be the ones I would select, obviously. I would go for the black S21 Ultra would be my choice of the bunch. And you know, I would slap a later case on. Of course, you already know this. So then I had to have these to match. And it's the same idea. You have the glossy portion, which maps to the frame of the device. And then you have the matte black on the other portion there. I'm going to say something if you don't mind. This is a very comfortable phone to hold. There is an advantage to a slightly smaller phone. I know everybody over here, you gotta have the spec champ and whatever, you're all turned on by the Ultra model, but Willie Do is a regular S20 guy right now and he's eyeing this from across the room. It's making me uncomfortable. However, I see where he's coming from because this is, I mean, I feel like I could hold that thing all day. It's lighter, it is uh, uh, slimmer, it's slender, it's still a big display. It's still got a tremendous screen to body ratio and it's a very nice screen as well. I don't know, man. It's a very nice screen as well. Don't know, guys. Really nice. Uh, it obviously doesn't feel quite as premium as the Ultra either, but it's a super comfy phone to hold. This one is gonna start at $799 and this one is gonna start at $1199. You see it's a smaller battery, smaller screen, lower resolution. Still got the Snapdragon 875 in there. Still got a really nice display to look at. You have the main camera units. You don't got the funky zoom. And then, of course, to make things a little bit more difficult, when we reach for the larger version of the regular S20, this guy right here that fits right in between the two, maybe that's the best combination of things. The screen is almost exactly the same size as it is on the Ultra variant. You have the flat edge design. It's a lighter weight in the hand. It feels a little bit thinner as well. And that one starts at $9.99. So tough choice to make. Uh, I think people probably know already what they gravitate towards. Myself, I wouldn't be satisfied not going for the Ultra. Willie Do, on the other hand, he likes the smaller form factor. Buds, can't forget the buds. These ones are $1.99. Maybe I should give them a quick listen. What do you say? So because you're completely inside of the Galaxy universe here, it's super simple. You just connect like this. Earbuds, 100% battery. Case, 83% battery. You can see the Bluetooth volume over there. Ooh, okay, that's a, actually a really secure fit. It's almost like a fitness bud. I feel like that thing is not going anywhere. I could get up and do a song and a dance and a jog. Now also, the noise canceling immediately. I sort of feel that. If I touch and hold, it will quickly toggle between those different settings. Oh yeah. Cool, so there's like a rapid version of that if you need to quickly talk to people and then if I wanna go back to noise canceling, boom, I'm back into noise canceling and there's a little audio signal that lets you know that you've done that effectively. I can actually toggle between four different settings for ambience, so not just one ambient pass through but different levels of it. Now this is like almost an amplification of my surroundings. 
Yeah, look, they got some punch to it. You know, I'm listening to the boom bap as well, but they got some punch to it, some kick to it. One of the best things about these earbuds as well, which I almost forgot, is wireless power share. I referenced it earlier. So by enabling that, you're ready to charge on the back of the device. And look at this little setup. How clean is that? Little vibration, red light, LED, you know that you're charging up. I mean, how cool is that in a pinch? All right, so there you have it. It is a brand new year. It's a brand new Samsung S series lineup, S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra, which now brings the S Pen as well. Exciting times. I don't know what this means for the Note series, especially since from a power perspective, this is the real flagship right now, but it's exciting for this model out of the bunch. I think it's making a real case for flagship champion status. Of course, it has a price tag to match. And then of course, we have some other interesting developments like the two-tone effect that they're going with. We'll probably see this show up elsewhere now that Samsung has done it, but I kind of like that. That's a nice little touch. And of course, we also covered the Galaxy Buds Pro. So it's been a bit of an unboxing extravaganza. Thank you for taking part. Now go ahead and let me know down in the comments section which color and model is most interesting to you and which you are most likely to go for. And also remember the later case for the S21, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra is dropping right this moment. So click the link in the description if you want an ultra thin case, which actually is kind of important if you're dealing with a massive phone like the Ultra model as well. So it's something to consider. Go check that out. I'll have all kinds of pictures and videos and stuff with that coming up. Shout out to Samsung. Thanks for this opportunity. And uh, there you go. Enjoy. S21, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra, unboxed here, unbox therapy, later.